Rafael Sancio was an Italian Renaissance painter and architect, started working with Michelangelo Leonardo da Vinci. Later, Rafael was called by Pope Julius II to work in the Vatican. Rafael Sancio also painted the Stanza de la Signatura, as well as the Mesa Bolsenia. The Mesa Bolsenia was a fresco painted between 1512 to 1514, which are now known as the Rafael Rooms in the Apostolic Palace in the Vatican. One of Rafael's famous artworks was the School of Athens, which is a fresco painted between 1509 to 1511. The School of Athens represents the classic ordinance of theology, lower literature, poetry or music, and philosophy in the Italian Renaissance. In the School of Athens, Raphael Sancio includes himself in his artwork. Later, Raphael Sancio was known for his collection of the Madonnas. For example, Madonna de Cardellino was painted in 1505. You see a young woman who is Mary sitting down holding a book in her hand with two saints beside her holding a bird. Another example was La Belle Jardine, painted in 1507. Again, we see the young woman who is Mary sitting down beside two saints, but not one of the saints beside her is holding a cross in his hand. The album Madonna is a painting created in 1510. Again, we see the young woman who is Mary who is sitting down holding a book in her hand, as we've seen in the Madonna of the Cartelillo. And one of the saints behind her is holding a cross, which we also seen in the Belle de Jardine. This art piece is 44 inches by 35 inches, was created in 1505 by Rafael Sancio. It is an oil canvas called Modana and the Metal. It is now located in the Contestation Museum in Vienna. In the 12th and 13th century was the time of rebirth of the Renaissance after the Roman Empire had fallen. In the 13th century to 16th century there were merchants who were people who traded in comedies produced by other people. The Metisus is one of the wealthiest families of Florence that will lead the way to regaining the glory that had been once been Rome into the new Athens. In Madonna in the Meadow, we see a young woman who is married, which is her focal point, who has her blonde hair tied back, wearing a red dress with yellow stitching on top, and has a blue hemation, which is an outer garment worn by aging Greeks over their shoulder. Mary is accompanied with Jesus Christ, and the right white name is on top of his head, which is a luminous cloud or halo surrounding a supernatural being or saint. The blue hemation worn by Mary represents the heavens, and the red dress represents the blood of Christ. Mary is also accompanied with St. John the Baptist in the left side with a nimbus on top of his head, also with a white hemation around his shoulder. Both Jesus Christ and St. John the Baptist are holding a brown cross which portends the roles of Savior and Prophet. In Madonna and the Meadow, Mary symbolizes the Christian Church, and the harbor behind Mary is known as the Port of Salvation. The blues and reds and greens in Madonna and the Meadow add to a sense of harmony. You could also see a red flower next to Mary from all the green grass around the meadow. Also, there is a yellow flower next to St. John the Baptist. Mary's silhouette completely contains the form of Jesus, showing she is Jesus' mother and establishing her as a symbol of the Christian Church. Madonna in the Meadow is a representational artwork with polygramic and analysis color scheme. Mary is shown as the ideal woman of the Renaissance, as pure, humble, and loving. As you look closely, Mary makes an implant line towards St. John the Baptist. Jesus Christ also makes an implant line towards St. John the Baptist. Raphael Sancio paints Mary in a larger scale compared to the rest of the painting. The reason for this is for your attention can go to Mary rather than the harbor behind her. In Madonna and the Meadow, the three figures who are Mary, Jesus Christ, and St. John the Baptist have a triangular form, which represents a trinity, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The triangular forms from Mary's head down to her right pointed foot back to St. John the Baptist's right knee back to her head. Another triangular forms 
from the top of the cross that both Jesus Christ and St. John the Baptist are holding, then goes down to Jesus Christ's left pointed foot back to St. John the Baptist's left knee. Rafael Sanzio did a lot of oil on canvases, especially frescoes in the Vatican. All of Raphael's artworks were connected to the movement of Christianity in the Italian Renaissance. My chosen artwork is La Virgen Maria. I first sketched La Virgen Maria into a canvas, then I painted it with acrylic paint. In our Mexican culture, we pray to La Virgen Maria to help us in hard times, bring us love and harmony, and bring us strength and show our loved ones we are there for one another. The day of La Virgen Maria's birthday, they arranged her altar with red roses and sing to her happy birthday. Others visit her at the plains, where there's a monument of the Virgen Maria. People go in before 12 to bring roses and light up candles for her. 